Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in Maya 2025. Well, in this video we're going to be looking at N-Cloth presets. And if you don't know what N-Cloth is, N-Cloth is a cloth simulation uh, or simulator in Maya that allows you to create clothing, curtains and all that kind of cool stuff, right? Now, uh, what a lot of people don't know is that there are N-Cloth presets and the presets are there to simulate the different types of fabric uh, because if you for example have a piece of silk and you drop that on the couch it will respond differently than a kitchen towel right made of cotton so uh, i'm going to set up a little scene here and we're going to demonstrate right mm -hmm. so let's uh, grab a um, cube uh, we're not going to make it too elaborate, but just so we have something to show here. Uh, yeah, that's probably already enough, right? Okay, so we're going to go in here. We're going to go in and uh, extrude that like so. And then maybe make the whole thing a bit bigger. Stretch it out a little bit. Just so we've got something to play with. All right. Cool. Now, let's go in here and let's make a piece of cloth. So we're going to take a simple plane. We're going to hit W. We're going to raise that up. We're going to hit R. We're going to scale that out like so. And what's very important when you're creating a fabric or an end cloth object is that you have enough subdivision. So we're going to go up here to mesh and smooth, and we're going to set that to subdivision level two. That's okay it's not very very high poly but it's okay yeah all right so now that we have all that let's set up our end cloth system so first we're going to select the object that should become textile this guy we're going to go to our fx menu we're going to go up to end cloth and create end cloth now there's a nucleus created now if we open up the attribute editor you see they've got a nucleus we got an end cloth one object and we're all good so if we now go in here and let me just go to my animation slider let's close this yeah if we now go in here and i hit the play button then the textile will fall straight through our object because i didn't set up a collider so this is the collider right so we're going to go in here to our end cloth we're going to go to set path uh, create passive collider like this and I also want a floor, so we're gonna create another plane. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna pull that out and make sure it's underneath our object like so. And we're gonna make that a collider as well, and cloth and collider. So now if we hit play, it should fall over and it does. And the reason why it's so jittery is because we only have 120 frames, so double click set it to 2000 and problems should be solved right so let's hit play and boom there you go now this is the default setup right and it looks uh, pretty neat now let me turn off the grid here for a second all right it looks pretty neat now um if you're happy with this great but let's say you want to do something else right so what you're going to do is jump back to frame one and here's our guy yeah and we're going to go to the attribute editor and we're going to make sure that we're in our end cloth one is that the one no that's not the one let's go in here in the outliner that's the one i want right we're going to go to presets and here you have a whole bunch of settings so what if i set the same uh, material to concrete right and click on replace let's go in here and hit play and of course it's going to respond something like this right and in my opinion because it's concrete it shouldn't even uh, go through the object but there you have it right so let's hit stop and jump back okay concrete might not be a great idea so let's go back in here we're going to go to enclose shape again presets and let's try silk all right should respond a very in a very different way silk Let's hit play. We'll give it a time to simulate. Maybe we need to click on select here. I'm 
There you go. Okay, so you have to stop it to break the, um, the, the caching and then start over, right? So it looks very different from concrete, obviously. Let's do one more, right? So we stop, we jump back to frame one, and let's go in and do something like, uh, I don't know. Um, lava, why not? Wonder what that looks like. Let's, yeah, it looks like lava, definitely. Stop, jump back, one more, why not? Let's do simple, uh, simple, simple, simple t-shirt, right? Cotton. Slide, jump back to the front, hit play, there you go. All right, yeah, so that's what I wanted to show you. And it's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, try some scenarios where you have clothing on a character and you will see that uh, the bounce will change and so forth. There are settings in the attribute editor that you can use to do that, but presets will go a long way, all right? Well, that's it for this short little video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.